Welcome to Get Your Sax Together. I'm pro saxophonist Jamie Anderson. If you're playing anything in the pop, funk, soul, or rock and roll genre, you're gonna to need to know about one important scale, and that is the pentatonic scale. So what is the pentatonic scale? Let's get straight into it. The easiest way to explain it is it's a five note scale, which is a major scale without the fourth and seventh notes. So in other words, it's the first, second, third, fifth, and sixth notes of a major scale. And it sounds like this. As you probably know, there are 12 keys in music, so make sure that you take the time to get very familiar with that pentatonic scale in 12 keys. Once you've done that, that equips you to play almost any song you like in the pop, soul, funk, rock and roll genre, even if you're a complete beginner on sax. If you want a shortcut with the notes for these pentatonics, go down into the description of this video, click the link, and you can get your free PDF where I've written out all the pentatonics in major and minor and the bluesy variations. Before we move on, I'll quickly explain about the major and minor versions of the pentatonic. Now, there's no difference in the scale. The only difference is what note you start on. So let's say, for example, we're playing C major pentatonic C, D, E, G, and A. If you want to play that same scale, but the minor version, you go to A minor, which is three semitones down from C, and then you play the same scale starting on A. So that would be A, C, D, E, and G. So depending if you're in a major key or if you're in a minor key, that will make a difference to which pentatonic you use. So make sure you get familiar with the major keys and their relative minors. Now, just remember, a relative minor is always three semitones beneath its major relative. Let's try and clear it up with a very quick example. Let's say that you worked out the song that you're playing is in G minor. You would go up three semitones, which is B flat, and you're gonna use a B flat pentatonic. However, because it's in G minor, you start on a G. The other very important thing you need to know about pentatonics is how to add the bonus notes, which are called the blue notes. Now this adds the real bluesiness to the scale. So when you're doing a minor pentatonic, let's say we're doing A minor pentatonic, A, C, D, E, and G. What we do is we add in an E flat between the E and the D, and that's called the blues note. Now what that does is that transforms the pentatonic scale into what's called a blues scale. So here's what that scale sounds like. That is gonna give you all those classic blues phrases from the great players, but beware. Don't linger on that flattened fifth note for too long because it will really clash with the chords. So use it sparingly, hit it, and then come off it onto other notes quite quickly, otherwise it'll be a bit jarring. Here's a quick example of me using the blue scale, which is the minor pentatonic with the extra flattened note, the flattened fifth note. Here's a quick example of what the blue scale sounds like. <laughs> Now, when it comes to the major pentatonic in a major key, what we tend to do is swap out the major third. So let's say we're in C major, C, D, E, G, A are the notes of the C major pentatonic. We take the E and we make it an E flat, which you'll notice is the same blues note as the A minor blues scale. So what we're gonna do is have the scale now C, D, E flat, G, and A. And that gives us a bluesy pentatonic for the major key. But just like the minor one, the blue scale, don't linger on that flattened third, that bluesy note for too long. So here's what that pentatonic sounds like in a major key with the blues note replacing the third. Here's what it sounds like.
Now commonly what happens is that you can mix and match. You can use the major third, so if you were in C major you can use an E, or you can replace it with the minor third which would be E flat, and you can mix and match depending what phrase you're playing. So I'm going to do a quick demo of a C major thing. Remember I'm on tenor, it'll be a different transposition for alto. I'm just going to play it in C on tenor, concert B flat. And I'm going to mix and match the major third on the pentatonic and the minor third. So here's what that sounds like. Okay, you've learnt the notes, you know what the notes are, but how do you start sounding good on these pentatonics? How do you start practicing it? Well, first of all, I've done a great video called Three Tips to Sound Better When You're Soloing. That'll be linked to a card. It's not there, is it? It'll probably be up there. <laughs> That'll be linked to a card. So go and check out that video. And at the end of that video, there's a 15 minute backing track, jam track that you can practice playing along to, and you can use one pentatonic for the whole thing. So that's a great resource for practicing. However, the number one thing you can do to get better with your pentatonics is to transcribe the great players such as the ones behind me on the sax wall of fame. I'll link up there to my three part series on learning how to transcribe, but that is the number one thing that you can do to learn to get better at pentatonics. Choose a minor one, choose a major one, and soon you'll learn what notes sound really great by listening to the great players. And also don't forget, go and check out my hall of fame series because there is a bunch of transcribed solos there for you to learn the classic sax breaks many of which are almost completely pentatonic. That's all we've got time for this week. You have learned what the pentatonic scale is, what the notes are, when to use the minor version, how to use the bluesy versions, and I've taught you that the best way of learning it is to go and listen to some players and transcribe their solos. Hope you enjoyed the content. I'll be back next week. Remember to subscribe to the channel, click the bell to be notified when I upload new videos, and of course, go down into the description, click the link to get your free PDF where I've written out every pentatonic scale, all 12 pentatonics, major and minor versions, and the blues scale versions. So that's a great resource. Go down there, grab that. And I look forward to seeing you next week on Get Your Sacks Together. Keep practicing, see you later.